After the plane landed, the tension from the flight still clung to you like a second. You couldn't shake the feeling of the way his voice had sent shivers down your spine. As you both disembarked, the bustling airport was a stark contrast to the bubble you just shared. He walked beside you, his presence commanding as always. But now there was an undercurrent of something more, something that neither of you could ignore. As you reached the baggage claim, you tried to focus on finding your suitcase, hoping the mundane task would distract you from the charged atmosphere between you. But when you spotted your bag and reached for it, he, you to it, his hand pressing against yours as he pulled the suitcase off the conveyor belt. I've got it, he said, his voice low, his eyes locking with yours. There was an intensity in his gaze that made your heart skip a beat. You swallowed hard, nodding as you tried to maintain your composure. Thanks. As you both made your way to the car waiting outside, the silence between you grew heavier, filled with unsaid words and tension. He opened the door for you, his hand briefly grazing your lower back as you slid into the seat. Deep was subtle but deliberate, sending a fresh wave of awareness through you. The car ride to the hotel was quiet, but the air was thick with anticipation. You could feel his eyes on you, studying you, as if trying to read your thoughts. You kept your gaze forward pretending to be absorbed in the city lights flashing by, but your mind was racing. When the car finally pulled up to the hotel, your pulse quickened. The reality of being alone with him in a more private setting hit you with full force. As the valet opened your door, you stepped out, trying to hide the nervous energy buzzing under your retrieved the key cards from the front desk and handed you yours, his fingers brushing against yours as he did. Your room's next to mine, he said, his voice deep and steady, though there was a hint of something darker beneath the surface. You nodded, clutching the key card tightly as you followed him to the elevator. The write-up was quiet, the small space amplifying the tension between you. When the elevator dinged and the door slid open, you stepped out first, leading the way down the hall. You passed in front of your room, sliding the key card into the lock. But before you could push the door open, his hand came up, stopping you. You turned to face him, your breath catching as you found yourself pinned by his intense gaze. Are you going to keep pretending nothing happened back on the plane? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper, but the edge in it was unmistakable. You opened your mouth to respond, but the words caught in your thought. 
the proximity, the charged silence, the memory of his whispered, it all came rushing back, making your pulse race. He stepped closer, just inches from yours, his presence overwhelming. Because I'm not. He continued, his voice rough with restrained emotion. And I don't think you are either. Before you could say anything, he closed the distance between you. The sadness of it took your breath away, but you didn't resist. Instead, you found yourself melting into him, your hands instinctively reaching up to tangle in his hair as you, him back with equal fervor. The desperate, as if both of you were, all the pent-up tension that had been building since the flight. His hands gripped your waist, pulling you. And you could feel the. It was overwhelming, and you couldn't get enough. He broke the, his breathing ragged. But he didn't pull away. His forehead rested against yours, his eyes dark and filled with awe that made your knees weak. This isn't just some, he murmured, his voice rough with, I want you, all of you. His words sent a shiver down your spine, and you knew there was no turning back. You had crossed a line, and there was no raising what had just happened. But instead of fear, you felt a thrill of excitement that matched his. You nodded. Your voice barely a whisper as you responded. Then take me. With a low growl, he pushed open the door to your room. The door hadn't even closed before. More demanding. This time, his hands roaming over, with a possessiveness that made your head spin. The room was dimly lit, but you barely noticed as he guided you toward the. You felt the edge of the mattress against the back of your legs. You drive me crazy, he murmured against. Do you have any idea what you do to me? Your only response was a gasp. Tell me you want this, he demanded, his voice rough with. You met his gaze. Your eyes filled with the same. I want you, you breathed, your voice trembling bit. I wanted you for so long. That was all the encouragement he needed. When the morning light filtered through the curtains, you found yourself tangled in the sheets, his arm draped possessively over your waist. As you lay there, the events of the night before playing in your mind, you knew that everything had changed. What had started as a business trip had turned into something much more, a connection that you hadn't expected but couldn't ignore. As you stood, he tightened his hold on you rushing against your shoulder as he whispered. Good morning. You turned to face him, 
your heart swelling at the sight of the tender expression in his eyes. Morning, you replied softly, a smile tugging at your. He reached up, gently cupping your cheek as he looked into your eyes. Last night, it wasn't just about the of the moment. He said, his voice serious. It was real. You mean more to me than just a... Your breath caught at his words and you realized that you felt the same. What you had shared wasn't just a passing passion. It was something deeper, something that had been simmering beneath the surface for a long time. You whispered, your heart pounding in your chest. I feel it too. His eyes softened and he leaned in, pressing a gentle. Then, let's see where this goes. He murmured, his voice filled with promise. Together. You nodded, your heart full as you. Him back. Knowing that whatever challenges lay ahead, you would face them together. The office buzzed with its usual energy, the hum of conversations and the tapping of keyboards filling the air. But today, there was a new sound. A soft going and the occasional burst of baby laughter that had everyone smiling as they passed by the glass vault office at the end of the hall. Inside, you sat at your desk, trying to focus on your work while also keeping an eye on the tiny bundle of energy that was your baby girl. She was propped up in a playpen beside your desk surrounded by colorful toys that jingled and squeaked as she tapped at them with chubby little hands. Her bright eyes were full of curiosity as she watched you type. Her giggles bringing a smile to your face. You were trying to balance reviewing a contract and making silly faces at your daughter, your heart swelling every time she burst into laughter. Just as you were about to return to the document, the door to the office opened and your husband, the man who had once been your boss and now your partner in every sense of the word, stepped in. He was still as commanding as ever, his presence instantly filling the room, but there was a softness in his eyes as he took in the scene before him. The stern, business-like exterior that others saw melted away as soon as he caught sight of you and your daughter. And how are my two favorite girls today? He asked, his voice warm as he closed the door behind him. Your daughter squirted in delight at the sound of her father's voice her tiny arms reaching up toward him. He crossed the room in a few quick strides, scooping her up from the playpen with a practice ease. She instantly snuggled into his chest, one of her small hands grabbing at the fabric of his shirt. We're managing, she replied with a grin, leaning back in your chair to watch them, though someone's been very distracting. He chuckled, pressing a to the top of your daughter's head before turning his attention to you. Is that so? His eyes twinkling with affection. Well, I can't blame her. You're pretty distracting yourself. You rolled your eyes playfully, but the way he looked at you still made your heart flutter, just like it had years ago. I'm trying to get through this contract before the meeting later, but someone's determined to keep all the attention on her. Smart girl, 
he said with a grin, settling into the chair beside your desk with your daughter in his lap. She immediately began playing with his tie, her tiny fingers fascinated by the silky fabric. But maybe I can help with that. You raised an eyebrow, amused. You distract her. She's obsessed with you. If anything, you're going to make it worse. He smirked, leaning closer to you, his voice dropping to a low murmur. Maybe, but I've had some practice at keeping people's attention focused on the task at hand. Let me take her for a bit. You finished up? And then we'll go out for lunch. How does that sound? You couldn't help but smile at his suggestion. The idea of a lunch break with your little family was more appealing than any business meeting. That sounds perfect, he nodded, his gaze on you for a moment longer before he turned his attention back to your daughter. All right, little one, he said, bouncing her gently on his knee. Let's give mommy a break so she can finish up. How about we go say hi to everyone in the office? Your daughter babbled happily in response, clearly enjoying the attention from her father. She watched them with a fond smile as he stood up, holding her securely in his arms. I'll be back in a bit, he promised, leaning down to give you a quick. Don't work too hard. I won't. You replied, your heart warm with contentment as you watched him leave the office, your daughter giggling in his arms. As the door closed behind them, you turned back to your work, but your thoughts kept drifting to the two of them. You couldn't help but feel grateful for how far you'd come. From that tense, electrifying flight years ago to the life you now shared, the partnership you had built, both in and out of the office, was stronger than ever, and the love you had for each other had only deepened with time. With a renewed sense of purpose, you quickly finished your work, eager to join your husband and daughter for lunch. finally stepped out of the office, you found them waiting for you in the lobby. Your daughter happily playing with a set of colorful keys, while your husband watched her with a soft smile. All done? He asked as you approached, his eyes lighting up when he saw you. All done, you confirmed, reaching out to take your daughter from his arms. She immediately reached for you, and you cuddled her close, pressing up to her cheek. Ready for lunch? Absolutely. He replied, slipping an arm around your waist as you both headed out of the building. Let's make it a long one. As you stepped out into the warm afternoon sun, your heart swelled with happiness. The life you had built together was more than you had ever dreamed of, and you knew that whatever the future held, you would face it together, just like you always had. Gaslighting confusing, was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I never